Hi, this is Bill Foote, and I'm the instructor for uh, Decision Modeling with Spreadsheets. It's the core MBA quantitative analysis course at Manhattan College. And this is the spring 2023 edition of the course, or version as some people would like to uh, uh, put it. Uh, and it was it has been recently revised. Uh, the contents are here. The um, uh, uh, syllabus is on the wall, and the wall on Moodle, which is our learning management system, is where we want to post questions. Do not email me those questions, because those questions, unless they're of an entirely personal nature, of course, email me. But if they're if they're regarding work that we're doing, we're doing the work collaboratively in this. This is uh, an example of non-competitive transcendence. We're going to move from one level to another, to another, to another, and keep building layers and layers of capability, skills, and learning as we go along in this course. Uh, the typical syllabus, I mean, this is seven, eight pages uh, right here. Um, uh, you have my contact details there. Uh, I have office hours on Fridays from 1.30 to 3.30 uh, in my office. That's De La Salle 423 on campus. Now, otherwise, get a hold of me. The best way to get a hold of me is by text. Use my cell phone number. Give me a text, but let me know who you are so I don't, you know, send you to the junk file because you're not that. Okay, uh, my email is the one there at um, uh, at uh, Manhattan, and as you can see with the little hand on it, it's interactive. Uh, that's the Zoom channel as well. We will have periodic uh, Zoom check-ins with one another. Uh, there, this is a, not a hybrid course, so these are not in the normal schedule. Uh, typically, they can happen on a on a, on a Monday afternoon, uh, they can happen on uh, no Tuesdays. Tuesdays, I got blocked out for a lot of other stuff that has to get done uh, in life and on and at school. Um, we may have a couple of Saturday sessions. You tell me what you need, and we'll see if we can pull that together from a scheduling point of view. Uh, there are several things to look at here. I mean, obviously, read the syllabus. So, okay, you've read the syllabus. You're going, okay, that's a normal course description. Okay, we're going to do all that kind of stuff. We're going to do a subset of that, all right? So, you know, let's pull it back here a little bit. This is a seven-week remote-only course. So we have a lot to accomplish in seven weeks. Yes, and it'll be done with spreadsheets. Please be advised this is not a spreadsheet course. We're using a spreadsheet as a foundation. Uh, use whatever tools are out there with Microsoft, and I will have some more tools here that will give you more practice using spreadsheets, but the real point of the course is to think analytically, reasonably, and come to descriptive and prescriptive solutions, decisions even. It is about decisions. And decisions are going to be pretty much the same as having an idea, only acting on it this time. Uh, we will use very standard tools in what is uh, known as operation research. Some people call it management science. I call it... <laughs> probabilistic decision-making. Uh, probability is a lot of it, and when you, one end of the probability yardstick or meter stick at zero is, uh, things are totally deterministic. They're known perfectly. They're known completely. And perfection and completion are very precise terms in areas such as game theory, which we are not going to cover in this course. And we have a separate course in which that is covered in some detail at the strategy level. And that feeds into our strategic management approach uh, and uh, learning goals. Uh, there's a manifesto here, though. Please, please pay some attention to this. 
Um, it's uh, uh, kind of technical. I'll, I'll give you that. Let me open it up a little bit. I use the word intelligibility for for the word reasonableness. What is your what is your uh, what is your threshold for being reasonable? If you're in a court of law, it is uh, the word probability gets into that, probable cause. Yes, cause and effect is very much a part of this. And we're going to be looking at causes and effects, strings of them, uh, as we go through. That's what economics really is about. The, uh, the law of the hearth is what economics means then. Uh, we start from there. We start from the small, the local, and work out to the global, not the other way around. And that is a very, very strong principle of subsidiarity that we will apply. And in this course, we're not going to go and say, I don't have any idea what's going on. No, no. We're going to sit down together, one-on-one -on -one if we have to, two-on-one, -on two by two, three by three, and work out our problems together and then share them with the group, okay? Subsidiarity, very, very important aspect of what we do. And a very important principle of education here at Manhattan College, which is in the Catholic tradition. And that is part of the Catholic intellectual tradition, which has found its way into a lot of other intellectual traditions in the East and the West. Uh, over the centuries, if not millennia. All events and data collected from events have a truth value. And we're going to start with that idea. Probability is a strength of a plausibility of a truth value. And it's expressible in an ordered range, otherwise known as arithmetic, zero to one. And it's normalized in zero to one. All probabilities of all the possible events will add up to one. We're going to use that idea an awful lot. Uh, inference is learning, and learning is inference, and they go both ways. And it's the process of getting to justify true belief, otherwise known as knowledge. So read this through, what justification means, what informative need, means, and then we get to decisions. Now, if you have decisions, there always have to be two choices. One choice is maybe to do absolutely nothing, sometimes called the status quo. Or business as usual. That's another way that people have put it and actually testified in Congress about it. Uh, and then another choice, uh, a null choice, if you will, and an alternative choice. But there are always two choices. You can't have a decision without two choices. But as I said, uh, natively, uh, doing nothing is a decision. Okay. Uh, but uh, we're only going to do decisions that are plausible, reasonable. And that means there's going to be a consistency between the decision and what we know. And what we know might be changing and updating over time, by the way. And there's a principle of the need to do that over time. It's part of our empirical method, uh, which is a little bit part of this course. Uh, there's a lot about surprise, uh, surprise outliers, and disruption. Uh, uh, please read that. Uh, the notion of decibels is in there. Um, we will uh, mosey through that at some point as well uh, in, in the future. Uh, there are various learning goals for this course. We um, pose a research question, model the causal influences, simulate potential relationships, align inferences with decision alternatives. Yeah, we're going to be doing that. We're going to start out with something a little bit simpler. We're going to almost have pose the question, uh, uh, should I buy, should I sell? <laughs> and in a very deterministic situation, they'll come up with a reasonable that is a justifiable approach. And we're going to invent things along the way. One of the things that gets invented is something like present value, present value from finance, which applies to uh, a, a, a small business. And we're going to take that as one of our, our uh, coming off points. And we're going to learn a lot of R in the process as well. Uh, we summarize, we analyze, we practice, we understand. But six is often the, the piece that a lot of people don't apply very many resources to. 
they're probably exhausted from doing a project like this. And uh, how do we communicate the product, the decision results that will be consumed by decision makers? How, how is it useful to them? So there's got to be that interplay as well. In a sense, it's the rhetoric of what we're doing. Okay. Uh, gain experience, develop an understanding, uh, uh, demonstrate an uh, ethical. Now, the interesting about the ethical issue in business, uh, we are applying a, a very strong uh, categorical imperative, but not an Immanuel Kant style. We're not we're not making this up as we go along, if you will, and calling it universal. What we're doing is we're saying that there is a fundamental native objective outside of all of us we probably reach for called the disinterested uh, the desire to know uh, who hasn't wondered at the stars. Uh, however, uh, what we're going to call ethical and moral is uh, applying the principle that we will make decisions consistent with what we know. It is that simple piece. Uh, and when we deviate from that and have no reason to do it, uh, we can run, in, run afoul of our own moral standing. That's the ethical issue in business. Uh, we know better, but we're going to act otherwise. Why? Because we still want to make a lot of money right now is one of the answers. Or I need to keep my reputation going. I can't be known to have ever made a mistake. Or else I'm going to be fired. Well, so be it. Uh, we've all been yeah, probably through that somehow. Um, and demonstrating an understanding of organizations. Okay, so think of these overarching goals. What kind of a leader do you want to be? Um, what is your ethical stance in business? And the particular one we're looking at here is the moral imperative of uh, what we know that's into what we do. They have to be <clears throat> consistent with one another. Various uh, texts. The uh, main text of the course is my book, uh, Informing Decisions Using Spreadsheets. It's available at LeanPub. Just press this. And you go to LeanPub. And it's somewhere between $25 and $35. Baby needs new shoes. Well, no, this helps me cover the costs of all my subscriptions and everything. So the rest I just give away. Um, People who uh, need it a lot more than I do. So um, it's an ebook, um, uh, probably uh, still a lot of typos in it. It needs uh, at least five to 10 years of hard edits before we get to those. And uh, uh, I hope you enjoy the writing to some extent. If you don't, let me know and uh, I'll see what I can do about making it a little bit more palatable to you. All right. <laughs> the other book. The other book. Oh, why don't we just use this thing? This whole thing is interactive. Isn't that amazing? There we go. The other book is Wayne Winston's book. Anybody who works in spreadsheets, if you don't have Wayne Winston's book, well, I I feel really bad for you. Uh, just get it. Uh, there's a paperback and a, I guess it's about 50 bucks now. Oh, no, it's $40. Uh, and that's the ebook. You get the ebook, and this way you. Have it with you at all times. Whenever you run into a problem, consult Wayne, and you will probably find an Excel solution to that problem. Okay. Uh, it also has lots of downloads. Okay. Download the zip file. There's a zip file happening here. So there's, well, I'm not going to worry about that zip file. Uh, there is a zip file there, and uh, it has all mean all of the data, all of the models, all unformatted, by the way, which is something we have to contend with um, uh, for use. Okay. Get back to required texts. And uh, will we use other things? Yeah, there will be other things in there as needed. Okay, don't worry about that right now. There are several online lectures in my YouTube channel.
Oh, there we go. We want that. There we go. Informing decisions. There it is. And let's sort it right now. And and, and, and there you can see it. Uh, I just resorted it for you. Uh, there's something about uh, YouTube channels that baffles me how uh, this resorting has to be done periodically. But anyways, uh, and they added a nice little feature over here where I can just grab something and bring it to where it's supposed to be. Uh, unit zero, what is a decision? Just go through that. It, it, it applies what I call a four-cause analysis. It asks all the questions you should ask about anything on the planet if you're starting up a project or whatever it is, as we are here. Uh, it also goes through um, a something called a decision tree, which is something that I'm going to uh, uh, make part of uh, an add-on to this course called Strategic Decision Analytics. But I want you to get a feel for what's inside a decision. There are alternatives, alternatives, yes, and uh, there are different ways of coming to that notion of reasonable decision. Decisions which are compatible with what we know. And here's where you're bringing your stats courses and so on, but also logic. Uh, all of that is inside of what's a decision. And, and the example there is a real example. It was a live example a few years ago uh, that I worked on uh, in the uh, soy complex, uh, dealing with what is called real options. Uh, you can see that this will follow unit by unit by unit and different units. The units are there. Ooh, seven. Must be seven weeks worth. Yes, each unit is a uh, number on the week. All right. And that final thing uh, is a pace. That's what the final thing is. Don't worry about DC Schindler. Uh, uh, he's a good friend uh, and finds this stuff, by the way, rather interesting. Uh, uh, the trouble with simulations. I will fix that at some point. And uh, DC will uh, be removed. There he goes. He's gone. That's simple. Um, so uh, go through these. These are 30, 40 minutes long, sometimes longer. Uh, pretty pictures. Uh, some of them, well, work out in great detail. Try not to go more than 45 minutes. Oh, that one went 46. Okay, so you... Look at these. Uh, you can read through the description as well uh, to get a couple of more uh, ideas uh, about what we're trying to do here. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. I mean, you know, get the popcorn out or whatever you're allowed to eat. Uh, do this with another as well. Um, swap ideas. Say that that was a crazy idea. I don't understand what the heck he's talking about there. Please explicate. Okay, this is what we're going to be doing together. Well, let me let me get back to the syllabus of all things. There we go. Back to the syllabus uh, platform uh, and uh, we're using Microsoft Excel. We're not using Google Sheets. Please, no Google Sheets. They uh, will not be accepted. They don't do everything I want them to do yet. We're getting close, by the way. Very, very close. And uh, we are going to make use of a very little bit of VBA to automate or auto. Uh, yes, automate is the right word. But to um, uh, repeat a calculation many times. And that's called a Monte Carlo simulation. And it's a very naive kind of Monte Carlo simulation. Uh, so what are we going to do? Everything is about hands-on, and uh, that's how this works. Now, team-based collaborative learning is a, well, I guess it's become a buzzword. We, we've always used it in business. I, I come from uh, academia, banking, energy, high-tech, and consulting. 
as a managing director, firm director, at the uh, equivalent of a principal or partner at Deloitte. And we built models. So we did for clients, gathered data. We use their data. Sometimes that's where we got the data to help them solve uh, business problems, business questions. Uh, so we launched this product in um, Southeast Asia or not. We've never been there. We, we, oh, we don't have anybody there either, really, who knows what's going on. And so we would, we would stub in our own knowledge and expertise in that area and bring it in. Now, what would we bring in? Well, it would be the launch of a new high-tech chip product or a rare earth factory. And rare earth is a big part of what high-tech is all about. Without it, these machines won't work. Uh, jet engines would crack apart. Uh, and on and on and on, lots of different things. But we're going to use something I've been using for many years, or else we would never have been successful at what we did. Um, uh, the notion of frequent hands-on assignments and project. Yes, you got to keep up with the work. Um, if this is at a time in your professional and personal life in which uh, <laughs> you don't have time for this course, uh, you're not going to get much out of it. You will effectively check the box and say you got it done, okay? I, I don't think that's what you want, certainly not what I want for you. Um, but it will, if you can just keep this going, part of your daily routine, daily commitment, tell the boss, I can help. And students in this course have learned such skills in basic Excel that they have often, um, Again, that non-competitive transcendence idea. They have transcended where they were before, left the old behind and taken on a new approach. And most leaders are going to be ecstatic over that kind of a result. Individual demonstrations, presentations, set up, solution of a sign. Okay, please do that. But uh, um, we're going to be doing that remotely. Get into groups. This is what it's going to be about. Find anybody. And if you can't, I will put two of you or three of you together. You have to try to do this together. Now, what's the assessment? We, we're going to do three cases, 20% each, 60% of the final grade. Uh, I will not allow these cases to be incomplete. It's as simple as that. Complete, incomplete. 100% is complete, 0% is incomplete. It is as simple as that. So I expect everybody to have 60% of the final grade out of 60%. Okay? That should be there. Okay. Each one of you must uh, submit her personal uh, version of your group report. And the report is going to be a spreadsheet going to be a model. It's going to be something I'm going to give you a template for, and you're going to work it out within the context of the template, and then you can do whatever you want after that. But use the template for your starter. Participation, another 20%. Show up. Now, how do you show up in a course like this? Um, we have two ways of showing up. One is read the book and communicate takeaways from that book. Maybe Maybe in the context of your own decision-making role or analytical role in support of a decision-making role in your organization or in your life, always tie what you're learning to something concrete. Now that will deviate from the, the norms we're setting up, from the ideas we're setting up. Great, that's the point. Absolutely the point. I only have seven weeks. So that's one way. The other way are discussion boards. I'm going to be posing all sorts of interesting questions. Put your two cents in. Okay, put your two cents. In. And those are either incomplete or incomplete. Okay, you either put them in or you didn't put them in. Uh, content wise, uh, that's pretty free ranging. Okay, there's no right or wrong answer, but Try to be logical. Use this as an opportunity to develop your own professional rhetoric. 
your way of expressing points of view, their opposition, their convergence, and to express your ability to have grasped the basic definitions and relationships among the things we're talking about. That's participation. Uh, yeah, the grades A to F, that, that's in there for syllabus purposes. Um, if people don't get a B plus, A minus, A out of what we're doing here, I think you've missed it. You've absolutely missed it. Um, now, the final presentation or final case, you're going to be presenting it in, in a sense, and you can do a video if you'd like. Um, you can do your own using the template, the ideas of simulation and optimization that we're talking about, and some have, and some have in a business organization have done that. And by business organization, I mean any kind of organization where uh, there are multiple stakeholders. Uh, there may be exempt or non-exempt employees. I don't know, and I don't care. <clears throat> there may be a hierarchy involved of uh, leadership. I don't care. There may It may be listed on the stock exchange. I don't care. Not-for-profits are just as much a business as for-profit organizations. Uh, just look at most mutual insurance companies for that one. Uh, weekly course schedule is here. You can see how it's running. We're running in 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 pairs of things. Uh, we're going to go through the basics of spreadsheet engineering in the first two weeks, the basics of optimization in the second, through the basics of simulation in the third two, and the last one, the odd one out or the odd one in actually puts all of these together into one uh, cohesive approach. We're going to use simulation, and we're going to use Bayes' rule, Bayes' theorem, to produce predictions, which we will put into an optimization context, optimize, find the decisions. Those decisions will be what? We'll look at the distribution of those decisions. It's going to be very interesting. Uh, academic integrity. That's the college, please read that. Uh, this is not the college and, and required in this course. Guidelines for analyst conduct, how we plan and direct one another, how we collect information, what we do when we analyze, what we avoid, what we try to achieve. Hey, look at that F. Do not misrepresent or overinflate estimates and results in your analysis. Do not make policy decisions in an analysis. It's not what we do. We do make recommendations, though. And then finally, production and dissemination. Dissemination speak truth to power. Now, we've had a lot of examples of that and uh, in, in, in uh, the long history of humankind. Um, so, yeah. Quality and timeliness in production is a really interesting thing to study, make decisions about. A non-time C product is worth far more than an A product that is too late because it doesn't matter anymore. Okay, it's it's ideas like that. Now, the C product you should have improved. Yeah, could you have improved? Did you have the resources to improve? So, you know, keep these things in mind as you're going through the course. Uh, this actually comes from an uh, article work in this community a lot. Oh, I used to uh, cite it up here. I don't seem to have cited it anymore. Don't stow I follow your organization's guidelines. That last one's really important. Um, if you have disabilities of any kind and need an academic accommodation, get that accommodation. Okay. Specialized Resource Center has that. Okay, that's a syllabus. Okay, don't look at this because it'll make you ill. Okay, there we go. That's what we are. That's where we're going. This is something we're going to do together. And you can literally write your own grade in this course by doing the work, by getting it in, getting it in complete. Not, and not an incomplete, get it complete. On time in full is what we're after, 100% service level, uh, as we use in the supply chains. However, 
However, uh, I use due date. Now, due dates are not deadlines. Deadlines means drop dead. After that, nothing matters. Can't be revised. No recourse. It is not a drop dead course, except after the final grade is issued. That is a final grade. Do I make mistakes? Absolutely. I've been known to make mistakes. Um, and if there is one, point it out to me, and we'll work together to figure it out. Um, I, I mean, I, I have no emotion over that except, oh, my God, thanks for finding it. <laughs> I certainly didn't. I'm a very fallible person. I certainly did, and that's why we work together. That's the social order of this particular class. Again, subsidiarity. We solve the problem together. And if we can't, we go to the next level and find somebody else who can help us solve that conflict, that problem, that issue. And then if that doesn't work, we go to the next level together and get that done. That's what we commit to uh, when I say subsidiarity. Uh, I'm going to leave it at that. The authority is probably too long, uh, but enjoy it. And uh, you needed this uh, excursus to make it official and enjoy the course. I will post this uh, in a separate uh, uh, place on uh, YouTube for your viewing enjoyment. Thanks. And uh, my motto these days has always been, has been encourage each other daily. And I mean, each of us, uh, well, we can still call it today right? Do it now. Uh, encourage each other, all right? Send notes, be communicative, and be positive, and help each other grow. And we will do this together. And I really thank you for the opportunity to uh, begin to work with you this term. And uh, I'll leave you with that. Um, thanks very much for your very kind attention. <laughs>